It might be snowing and it might be May, but I'm going into this Goodwill. I'm in Johnstown and I've been into this one before. So let's see if there's anything new. It's been a while and see what's going on. I guess we'll get the push kind. Okay, come up on picture frames, but I don't even bother looking at those usually. Start with the little tchotchke hour right here. Oh, there's a chip on his doggy's nose, $2.99. Uh, what is that, hobbyist? I think so. I see a little planter back here. Uh, has the AB, AB on it, $1.99. I kind of like it with the little roses, but I don't think I'm going to get it because there's no character on it, so I'll put that back. Well, he's cute. Bisque, a dollar ninety-nine. No, I forgot to check though the color tag. Four ninety-nine. But I'll wait till I see something I really, really want, and then I can go check it. These little girls down here. Oh, she's kind of like got that creepy stare. $2.99, another hobbyist piece. This probably is too. Yeah. $2.99. And then I see some. Are these Kimbers? No. $2.99 each. That's a cute pattern. Usually I only see dots. Like a blue holly leaf. And there's the other one. Laying down. I don't know if I like that pink coloring bow on the cheek. $5.99 for the egg with the bride and groom in it. And then some bunnies. Home Co. 99 cents each. Need your numbers. $2.99 to, uh, $3.99. Just going up shelf from shelf. What is that back here? It is $2.99. Oh, I kind of like her. She's definitely newer. And there's Oh, a little angel back here for $1.99. A lot of hobbyist pieces. But let's stick her out, see what she's all about. Oh, big lots, $4.99. I don't know if it's vintage though, it could be. I don't know what year it was done. But I really do like her. Closer inspection. She is a pink tag. $4.99. Nothing's chipped on her. All right, let me, let me put her in the car and think about her. Okay, knock off Lennox. 99 cents. Some napkin rings. For $2.99. Are kind of sweet, aren't they? Doggy Japan, a dollar ninety nine. He rocks a Kentucky chicken by himself, salt and pepper with no price tag on. I do see this bunny on the cart, two ninety nine. That's a good deal because usually they're at least five plus. Let's check him out, really good though. His top will come off. I saw him over Antique Depot. He's definitely more than $2.99. Blue tag. Put him in the cart. If I don't break him. Little trinket box. Oh, music box. Breaking that with a broken arm. Okay. I think I've seen everything here. 
that I need to see. We'll move on. So home code made in Taiwan. No price. Moving down the other side of the alley. Oh, Finch. Oh. Oh. Sounds like good cards. We're going to check that out. Buck 99. I'm going to just set that in my cart. So right now, I'm all alone for a second. My granddaughter likes LOL dolls. There's some party picks. Steelers, 99 cents. If that's your thing. So what we have here is a digging situation. Because I tell you what, it is piled on thick. Lots of ribbon. For buck ninety-nine. Raffia ribbon. Be mine. Happy Valentine's Day. What are these? 36 count cards. Envelopes and stickers from the Dollar Tree. 99 cents. Some buttons. 3.99. Gosh, should I get those? I don't know. Oh, there's two boxes of them. Well, I think I'm going to get them since there's two boxes together. The napkin rings, $4.99. The bride's organizer. That's a box. All kinds of stuff. $2.99. All I can say is something smells really, really, really bad over here. I'm not sure what it is. I like the little candies. $1.99. You can string them. Uh, I don't know. The intoxicating aroma of whatever it is is knocking me out over here. Not over plastic, yeah. But are they? Because look, I see a broken one. Oh, gee. I'll just go back in there. Just go. Favor ties, 99 cents. Oh, I like those. I think I'm going to get those. What else do they got? Anything else? I don't see anything up there. There's a big heart. What is that? $3.99. Burning instructions. Oh, it's a candle. Oh, I would never burn that. I'd be afraid I'd catch my house on fire. Collection de Condu. Jiggling Easter decoration. For $2.99. I want to see what's in it. I don't know if it's worth anything. Looks like it could almost be like home interior or um, what was the other one? Christmas around the world. Is there a barcode? No, but made in China. Okay. We'll leave that. Let me grab my little favorite guys. Those are cute. I always like the mini, the mini glasses. They're broke too. How many are broken there? 99 cents. I see one. Let me get them though because I like the color. I can dig out the broken pieces. Always good for crafting. There's a plastic for a buck 99. I like the little chick picks. And the bunny planter. It's 4.99.
Now oh, he's fun, $2.99. Be perfect for like, for like a dad's assemblage. It's a pretty set with the pink rim. It's corning. Mm, I like the little minis, but I don't really care for ones that like are written on. Because then it's all about placement. It's in this little box. Napkin rings. Look like um porcelain. Dollar ninety nine each. With the little saucer. There's three sets. Some milk glass. And uh, coming in, I gotta go back the other way. Some of them was in the aisle, and I didn't want to try to shove in there, so I'll go back. And how? Oh, wow. Opening these French cards. Oh, okay. Not what I thought. I'll put those back. Open the front case, see if there's anything good. Oh my gosh, golden girl candles. Oh, I love it. Oh my, 20 bucks. <laughs> Those are great. Love me some golden girls. The glasses are $1.99 each. Okie doke. Yellow is the tag today for half off. So they had some bins up there full of yellow stuff. I think these are beads. They'd be, they'd be two dollars. Right now they're three ninety-nine. So I might get those. I gotta put the cards back. Everything else, pink, blue. Uh, so that's full price. I'll give some thought about it after I'm done here. I have one more lane to go down, but. Of course, I got caught by, by the holiday stuff again because I can't get enough of all the holidays. And someone was behind me before, so. But now I'm here by myself again. Those are vintage. Doris, Resin Santos, they are really heavy. These little thread samples. Yeah. Embroidery floss. I got these for me since we're yellow tagging it. I'm gonna get these ornaments. I think they would make a nice uh in night pastel for springtime. So I'll grab those. They'll be three dollars together. Not really looking for ornaments, but they just kind of keep jumping out at me so I can get them. So I am done. I'm done with the holiday stuff. I am walking out and going around the corner. Okay, if I finally made it to the corner down here. <gasps> look, I gotta get a closer look at that. Dollar General Cups. It's like a bathroom set. Well, that's really cool. I don't see a place on it. Love the owls. Do you see those? Oh, I like the colors on that. $2.99. It's almost like um, the Miss Puss top right there, isn't it? Oh, I wonder how old it is. And I think it was painted like that. Problem with them taping it this much is that I don't know what the inside looks like and if it's going to be chipped. 
tempting, tempting, but I think I'll leave it. Over here on the other side, just some tchotchkes, Lennox. A candle. Egg candle. MK candles. Wow. $2.99. Nothing in there. So it is Tuesday, May 5th. No, May 2nd. May 2nd, yeah. And it is actively snowing. We're getting ready to go over the mountain. Snow on the ground. Yep, snow on the ground. And then there's supposed to get some tonight too, but it's snowing right now. 34 degrees out. We're back in Bedford County. Coming in from Johnstown. Can't see out there, but usually at night or during the clear day, you can see pretty far. I'm back from Johnstown Goodwill, and I wanted to show you what I picked up. Crazy weather. Pennsylvania weather. That's just how it is sometimes, I guess. But, um... Snowing one day and the sun, well, rain and then the sun's out. So, yellow tag was the half off. And I picked up two boxes, well, a bag and a box of these pinkish purple ornaments in gold. And I got them for crafting. So, $1.50. It doesn't sound like there's anything broke in there. However, this little mini does have some broken ornaments but I only paid a dollar for it and I'll take them all out and then I'll just throw away the packaging with the broken pieces but again they're like the purple and the pink so that will be a start a, a great start to uh, a good project this was half off as well originally $3.99 so I got it for two dollars it are it is the um these enamel beads and I tried to look some up on eBay but everything I saw said sterling silver. Now, I don't think these would be sterling silver. I think they're just enamel coated uh, globe charms. But there's different uh, sizes and different colors. And they just had the earth on it. So I thought that was, you know, pretty cool for $2. They like to fall out of their bag I cut open. Let me show you what I got next. And my last 50% uh, off purchase were these bells. They were taped shut. I could not get them open. It says holiday six piece hanging bells. I do believe they have been used because some of the packaging is going is going in the box. So one has its protective cover on it. But here's what they look like. They're Santee. And snowman. Like all they are and then yeah so they're a little bit different but for 50 cents i think i can sell those for probably i'll probably list them for 9.95 and uh it might be priority shipping they're a little bit heavy with the pat with the box and everything they'll probably be over a pound so um good find there now this was like a end of the uh coming up you know to check out and they're, they're glassy knobs. I don't know why I got them. My granddaughter loves the pastels and I thought, well, if I took her dresser and took the knobs off of it and put this on, but then I'm gonna price them out first and if it's better to sell them. Oh yeah, they'll go up on eBay. So they're in the packaging, right? I think so. They have uh, Studio 18, there, there's the back. What does it say? Spring, uh, Charm Diner, Atlanta, Georgia, drawer pool, and a price tag of $1.50 on the bottom. So there's one white, two whites, one blue, two pinks. I did pay $3.99 for them. And there is one wooden, maybe metal, 
in there that's blue. So, you know, Goodwill's policy, all sales final. I don't know when I'm going to do them. I don't know why I got them, but sometimes you just do those things, right? And then next up, so that, um, that was full price. The only the yellow were half, was half off. I got this bunny planter with the lid. I took the tape off of it. It was $2.99. No chips because, you know, well, mm, I retract those words. There is a chip there on the inside of the lid, but you can't see it. And I see these all the time. Usually they're priced, I would say, anywhere from six fifty to like ten dollars at antique stores. I don't know what I'll do with this one. It seems like it could break pretty easily in transit, but then who knows? And right now I won't even think about it because it is Easter. I'll just put it in a box until next year. However, <laughs> cute little witch. Still has her hand painted sticker on there. It is a big lots piece. I don't know how old, but it's WCL. Of course, all the information has been torn off that big lot sticker. I did pay $2.99 for it. There's no chips, nothing like that on it. I got to get the tape off the handle. But either sell it like this. I don't know if I, I thought about making like a Halloween assemblage piece out of it because I have some bigger Halloween bottle brush trees that would fit cute. Like put one out the side, put some uh, mercury bee picks beside it. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking there. Or just try to sell it. On eBay, I did look, do a brief look, but I didn't see any. Um, I didn't see any for sale on eBay. This was ninety nine cents. They were taped together. They're Dollar Tree cards. Low hearts say two from, and then uh, there's some stickers. But you know you can't beat it for the pink envelopes. And then in the back, there's there's the other card. So basically 50 cents per box. I don't know if I'll use them for junk journaling or just use the envelopes. I haven't thought that far in advance. I did get the tape off, but they're still sticky when I stick them together. Okay, just about done. You saw me pick up this bag of favor ties. I did try to look them up on eBay with the barcode, no luck. I paid 99 cents. I should get that sticker off of there. I need to take them out and count them because it says there is 24 and you can see there the flap's been open and you can easily pull one out and of course you sell that on eBay and there's not really 24 then this item not as described and you have to refund them and pay for return shipping. Uh, I don't know what I would list these out with wedding season coming up I was thinking probably like six ninety five. I don't know. Any opinion on that? What would you pay for those if you were getting married and you wanted them for favor ties? And then lastly, you did not see. I don't think you saw me get this box or bag of miniatures. They were three ninety nine, and there's just a uh, hodgepodge of goodies in here. I have a couple other pieces of miniature furniture that I want at auction that came in a box with other, other stuff I wanted. So I'm thinking about just grouping it all together and doing a box lot on eBay. But in this bag, and I have like the grandfather clock and there's a couple other pieces. But in this bag, I have, oh, the grand piano. Oh, there's even a little stick to... Oh, how cool. Okay, I have that. I'm not a miniature person at all. So, uh, good news is I will not be attached to these in any way. There's a bed. I think this might come with, there's no figures in here. Hold on, let me get out. There's the bench for the piano. Even fabric. I saw oh, a sewing machine. There's a croquet set. Oddness, right? A candelabra.
a little sewing machine. Just like what you want to do on a Sunday afternoon, watch uh, Gretchen go through a bag of miniatures. And then it starts getting into, oh, there's a little package. Oh, that's sweet. That has to be bought. It's perfect. Uh, there's little Halloween resin pieces in here. There's a little witch fairy. So I don't know, there's a mushroom. There's another mushroom. There's another little witch fairy. Oh, wait, guess what? There is little, I wonder if there'll be little candlesticks for the candelabra. Hopefully they're all in there. Probably not, but one could hope. I wonder if that'll be worth like the same price as a Lucite candlestick. I doubt it. Anyways, that's it. That is everything. Yeah, that is everything I got. And yeah, that's everything. So thanks for joining me. That was my Johnstown Goodwill. I don't stop in there often. You can kind of see it's crammed. And gosh, there was a punky odor in the back there. I, it had been raining for days. And I don't know if that just kind of backed up their sewer system or what. But um, yeah, it was like pretty bad. Uh, so I hope everyone's having a great day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.